Well, there we go. If I can get my screens to work. <laughs> well, good evening, everyone. It's been a while since I've had anything to talk about from a semi-severe weather standpoint. So, but we do have something to talk about tonight. I think the main concern for most of us, some of the questions I've already gotten is, is it actually going to rain? Well, the answer is yes, for some of us. Unfortunately, I think for most of us, that will not be the case. We'll go through all that. So I just want to start out with this uh, dual screen radar. So one is the wind speed, the velocity on the right, and of course the reflectivity on the left. So let's get rid of the dual screen and go to the big pen. Okay, so believe it or not, uh, we don't really have a cold front in the traditional sense, but we have a trough of low pressure that's been to the northwest of us most of the days. It's kind of a remnant cool front from the last couple of days that's kind of hung around in Oklahoma. And we actually have a severe thunderstorm warning for the yellow boxed area there, which includes parts of Denton County, Collin County, uh, very northwest, northeast part of Tarrant County and the northwest half, uh, northwest quarter of Dallas County, if you will. Hello, Amy. Um, it's a little misleading because if you look at that warning box, it's there's not really a lot of precipitation in there. Most of that reflectivity you see is really wind. And, you know, right now the temperature at, I'm looking over here, uh, temperature at my house is 96 degrees, uh, you know, almost uh, just a little bit after nine o'clock. And so, you know, obviously very, very warm. Uh, we got up to, what did we get up to today? Uh, at least at my house, 104. So obviously very warm. So when you get these outflow winds from these thunderstorms that have been developing northwest of us, you get this big contrast between this rain-cooled air and this very warm temperatures we have from, uh, you know, to the south of it, which is where we're at now. So that's why you get this uh, showing up, this reflectivity type signature on the radar, because it's such a contrast in air masses. It almost thinks that the radar almost thinks that it's rain. It's not really, could be some sprinkles in there, but nothing to, not to dig right home about, unfortunately. But the severe thunderstorm watch is for the hazardous for 60 mile an hour winds with this outflow boundary. Now, I don't think that we'll see widespread 60 mile an hour winds with this outflow, but if you look closely here, the uh, the Denton Airport uh, recently had a gust of 46 miles an hour when that storm came through. So that's why uh, that's it's not 60, but the potential is for 60 miles an hour. So that's why they issued a severe thunderstorm warning. It's till 9:15, and again, it's not really for rain; it's for wind. Uh, and you can't have a severe thunderstorm warning, not necessarily for rain, but it can for wind. Uh, and so they were just, I think they just updated this or maybe they didn't. Yeah, they did. Okay. So yeah, still 60 mile an hour wind gust. I'm looking at spotter reports and I don't, nothing really has come in. I think they had a wind gust about 30. Well, they had 46 at the Denton airport. Uh, looks like we're expecting probably wind gust around 30 miles an hour, maybe 40. But as this outflow boundary continues to move south, it'll start to lose some of its definition. So if you're south of Dallas-Fort Worth, I don't think you have much to worry about as far as that goes. So if we put this in motion, give you a little bit better idea what we're talking about. So this goes back to about 5, 30, 6 o'clock this evening. And you can see the general motion of the storms are east, maybe just a little bit south of east. And they are trying to slowly make their way south they're not doing a very good job unfortunately <laughs> i want some rain i know most of the people watching want some rain hey blake how's it going buddy uh what direction would the wind be out of this outflow boundary uh well so when the boundary comes through the winds will definitely be out of the north uh northwest north maybe northeast but probably northwest uh the direction that the wind gusts at the denton airport when we had the gust of 46 miles an hour it's out of due north so if you see the uh, it, when this out and this outflow boundary will make it through most of Dallas Fort Worth. Again, I think as you go further south, it will lose some of its punch. But uh, you'll definitely notice it. Now the temperature is not going to drop to you know 80 degrees or anything like that, unfortunately. But I think you might see anywhere from a seven to ten degree drop. Hey, I'll take it right because <laughs> like I said right now at my house it's 95 degrees. I'd, I'd, I'd take 85 uh, pretty quick. Hey, Darlene. Uh, yeah, we need to rain over here, too. Um, 
Oh, y'all can't water anything? Oh, wow. Okay. Well, we're still doing that over here, but one day, two days a week, uh, max. So yeah, it's, it's getting pretty dry out there. So the last rain at my house uh, was July 16th. So yeah, it's, it's, it's going on a month and that's most of us. That's the issue we're dealing with. So as you can see from the latest radar scan, uh, you know, the, the outflow boundary is still there. It's just not, sh uh, oh, I'm sorry. That's not the right one. There you go. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'd put the wrong one up there. So it's, uh, outflow boundary still coming. So if we zoom in on this, uh, you know, right now, uh, looks like the leading edge is just north of DFW airport, uh, Farmer's Branch, Carrollton. Let me see if I can get my drawing tool to work on this. Maybe make that a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, so you can kind of see the outflow boundary right there. So, again, you know, Carrollton, uh, Addison, going through West Plano right now. Looks like it's through Allen, McKinney, Fairview. So, uh, if you live anywhere south and east of that line probably in the next eh, it depends on where you live obviously but i'd say next anywhere from the next 15 to 30 minutes obviously depending on where you live obviously if you live around 75 it's gonna be a lot sooner than that so that's what you could definitely expect um that is for sure all right let's see if i can get rid of that here real quick there we go so if you put this particular zoom in motion you get an idea that, uh, you know, the outflow boundary is moving pretty quick, and that's that's pretty common for these type of outflow boundaries when these thunderstorms. Uh, let's see. I don't know if we can get an observation that's where the front's come through yet. Uh, the Addison Airport observation still is the old one, so nothing there. Uh, let's see. Actually, you know what? Let's, well, no, that won't work. All right, so again, most of this is not rain. Most of this is uh, just the difference in temperature. Although, you know, I'm not saying there could be some sprinkles in there. That, that's for sure, but nothing that's going to get you too excited. And yes, we do need rain. This is probably the most excitement we've had, <laughs> relatively speaking, for uh, quite a long time. So, you know, what can we expect the rest of the night? You know, obviously, unfortunately, you know, this is not going to be some prolonged rain event or anything like that. But it's, you know, and like I said, most of us, unfortunately, won't see anything uh, liquid. May see some wind, but won't see anything liquid. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so just checking some more observations here. Uh, Alliance Airport, the outflow boundary just went through there so they had uh, at the latest observation north wind at 21 gust of 28 i think that that's mostly what you can expect it, when this outflow boundary comes through probably anywhere from the 20 mile an hour to 30 mile an hour range uh, I, not to say you couldn't see more than 30 but i think the vast majority of us will see less than that so i certainly don't anticipate any damage let's hope not Okay, so the other thing I wanted to point out uh, that gives us a little bit more hope, maybe just a little bit later tonight after 10 o'clock for most of us, is this band of storms right here. So this is severe warned, and this is, uh, again, for 60 mile an hour wind gusts. Uh, and by the way, you know, there's not really much of a hail threat with any of these. Uh, heck, I guess, you know, nobody wants it to hail, but uh, that's not really the issue. And I kind of jokingly say that if it did hail, probably in the cloud, it'd melt way, <laughs> melt way before it even got to the ground. Uh, but this storm does have uh, a hail signature on it, a uh, half inch hail. But again, that's mostly a loft. I don't really see that being an issue as far as that goes. Uh, I just don't think that's an issue at all. I'd like to, I'll take the rain, that's for sure, if we can get that. Uh, all right, so put this particular one in motion here and again this goes back to like 5 30 and you can see the outflow boundary coming through you see these storms that are developing on the uh kind of on the the western end of the outflow boundary just south of jacksboro so you kind of see the motion that they're taking and if we stop this and kind of slow it down just a little bit you can see how east south east so if that boy you know, that would be pretty good because if it were to do that and keep that motion, then uh, you could see something uh, that might be helpful to us, at least for some of us, to get some rain. So it'd be something like that. 
you know, look, whether it holds together that long, I seriously doubt it, unfortunately. But I think, again, if you live in southern uh, Wise County, uh, the northern part of Tarrant County, maybe the southern part of Denton County, mainly the southwest part of Denton County, you would have the best chance of seeing some of those storms that are severe warned uh, just south of Jacksboro. Now, like I said, in this environment, uh, you know, we have enough lift in the atmosphere to cause these storms to begin with. It's just that it's just the, this high pressure dome that we've had for such a long time as uh, strong. It's kind of been shunted to the south a little bit. So that's why these storms have, um, you know, kind of helped uh, get closer to Dallas Fort Worth than they have in a long time. So this ridge of high pressure that we have is kind of been shifted to the south and southwest just a little bit. Uh, again, that's why this has been able to these storms that have been mainly in along the Red River and, and in Oklahoma the last couple of days have kind of inched a little bit closer to us. So we call it in, 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 in our, in the meteorological world and the storm chaser world, these are called ridge rider disturbances. So they ride the ridge to the north. If you think of the ridge as a big circle, excuse me, then it rides the, the north of it. So it rides the ridge, the edge of the ridge. That's why I call it ridge rider. So just in case you want to know. <laughs> Uh, so I seriously doubt uh, the weather service is going to extend the the, the uh, warning for Dallas County calling Tarrant didn't. I'm probably going to allow that to expire. Um, and again, do observations. We're not seeing anything that's more than 35 miles an hour, so that warning is going to go away. So don't worry about that. So the bottom line is this. So what can we expect You know, later tonight so like i said i think that most of us won't see rain so number one let's kind of set the bar there and then number two is if these storms in jacks in the jacksboro area right now if they can if these guys can hold together long enough then we might see something and that would be like a 10 i got a new drawing so i gotta show it off <laughs> after 10 p.m for most of us then you might see something but other than that, it's just, we just got to wait a little bit longer, unfortunately. Okay, so I don't see anything else other than in the comments. Uh, so other than that, I think I will sign off. Just want to, you know, give everybody a, at least a, something to be a little excited about. It's better than nothing at all. Um, so I would say most of us, like I said, most of us won't see rain. And then after that, uh, you know, we'll be back to 105 tomorrow. Sorry mm -hmm. about that. All right, as always, I'm watching the weather so you don't have to. Hope everyone has a great evening, and we will talk to you soon.